Hey guys, it's Candy Miss Natural Life. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. And in this video, I get to share with you some awesome items from Milani's Spring 2015 product line launch. Oh yes. <laughs> Okay, I was so amped when I found out what products Milani was going to be releasing that I was actually stalking my drugstore to get my hands on some of the items because I was like, whoa, I was reading beauty blogs and looking at different websites, you know, how they do the preview, like what's to come, and I was like, OMG, I have got to have like everything. Okay, so imagine my delight when I went to my mailbox and Milani sent me a nice box with all of these wonderful goodies from the Spring 15 launch. I was like, yes, okay. So if you remember, I did do a little bit of work with Milani last year. I was the second place winner in their statement lipstick contest. I did a haul, I did giveaways, I did a hairstyle, lip swatches and tutorials. I will link those videos below if you missed that. And so they put me on their list to be able to receive a few items to share with you guys this year. And I'm so honored, so thank you again, Milani. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys some swatches and my first impressions on a lot of the items are you ready <laughs> you better hold your britches honey because we are going in okay so let's just go right on in and talk about these new color statement moisture matte lipsticks yes honey yes <laughs> alani has your matte <laughs> made in heaven this brand new matte lipstick not only feels great and creates the runway look but lasts for hours, keeping you picture perfect all day. Infused with grape seed extract imported from Italy, this smear-proof lip soother delivers mega color that won't budge, even after a close encounter with a cappuccino cup. This lightweight creamy formula contains vitamins A and C to keep lips kissably soft and hydrated. Okay, so we know that I am a self-proclaimed lippy junkie, all right? I was already feeling all of the Milani lipsticks last year. I was doing the lip gloss, the lipsticks, the lip crayons. I just absolutely think that their lip products are stellar. So like I said, when I heard they were coming out with a new matte line, I was like, yes, I have to get them, okay? They go on so creamy, so smooth, and they are long lasting, which I really like. And they are lightweight, just like they have been described. They go on, I don't even feel like I have anything on. The other thing that is really cool about it is that they smell so nice. If you remember, their color statement lipsticks kind of have a watermelon, like passion fruit, Jolly Rancher kind of smell to them, scent to them. These do not smell that way. These are like grown and sexy lipsticks in my opinion, okay? They smell, they have this like light vanilla smell to them that is just really, really nice. So it's not as fragrant and like bam in your face as the watermelon smell, the Jolly Rancher smell. They just smell nice and smooth. They kind of like smell how they feel, if that makes any sense. So. I really, really, really enjoy that. The color payoff is nice. The ones that are a little bit light for me, I can just pop on a liner and keep it moving. I can say that they are long lasting. I have personally been wearing this color all day long, been filming videos all day long, and I just really, really think that they're awesome. It's just really, really nice. I think they're very, very, very stellar lipsticks. Okay, okay. Next, we're gonna move right on along to the Rose Powder Blushes. If you remember last year and the year before, I believe they released these rose powder blushes and they were all the rage and they got so many requests they decided to bring back three of them for the permanent line and I was like, yes, because I love the rose powder blushes. This unique and luxurious matte powder contains real rose petals that are crushed and micro milled into the powder to naturally enhance every skin tone for streak free shaping and contouring. So for the same reason that I love them last year are why I love them this year. They are just the bomb. Like, there's no other way to put it. They are the bomb. They rock. And just like the claims, they are flattering on every skin tone. I have seen the fairest of the fairest rock these rose powder blushes to my brown skins, to my dark mahogany skins. Everybody can wear these blushes and I just think they are amazing. The reason why is they give you a natural flush of color. It's not like, boom girl, you got blush on. Oh, I see your blush, boo. You know, it's not like, hey bae, on your face, okay? It is just a nice, subtle flush of color. And you would think sometimes with brown girls that it, that might be hard to achieve, but it's not. Romantic Rose and the Tea Rose and the Coral Cove, I rock the Coral Cove in the summertime like nobody's business, okay? So, hand 
hands down they are just beautiful blushes I'm rocking the romantic rose today which is a little bit of highlight and it just gives me that natural kind of lift to my cheeks that I really really like they are finely milled like they say and they are completely matte so unlike some of their other blushes these do not have the shimmer to them at all and that's okay because sometimes it's just nice to have a nice matte blush so I am definitely a true fan of these blushes moving right along we gonna hit up these Milani foil eyeshines okay this isn't a shadow it's a shine formulated with exclusive multi-dimensional pearlescence this extraordinary eye enhancer gloss is truly game-changing the gloss is mesmerized with special effects from translucent shimmers to rich opaque metallics. Okay, so let's break it down. First of all, these are not eyeshadows, okay? So when I first heard about it, I was thinking they were going to be eyeshadows, like Makeup Geek shadows or like pigments, but they're not shadows, they are shines. So I'm glad that I kind of knew that going into it because like I said they were sold out of my Walgreens it wasn't until they sent these to me that I was able to even try them so I've seen quite a few reviews on these and I'm getting mixed opinions and mixed experiences because a lot of people were disappointed because they thought they were going to be eyeshadows so for me I went in knowing that they weren't going to be eyeshadows I'm sure that if I didn't know that prior like if I just went and purchased it you know off the hype um, I probably would have been a little bit disappointed too or a little bit taken aback because it wasn't what I was expecting for it to be. So I have to say that having that foreknowledge that they're not shadows probably helped me kind of, you know, accept that they're not shadows, okay? So let's talk about the consistency of them. They are quartets and they're in these, you know, the, the quartet quads. The applicator appears like a normal applicator, but it's not. It is rubberized. It is not the foam applicators like in an eye eyeshadow palette. Um, and then also the consistency of these, they are kind of wet. Like they're not shadow, so it's not like powder, but they aren't like completely wet. I would have to liken them to like mud. Like if you ever made mud pies when you were a kid, kind of like that. Um, maybe not so muddy, like so gritty, but very, very soft. Um, you can kind of press into them um, and you can kind of like move them around and when you stick your finger in them it kind of leaves an imprint in there so that is a very very different consistency than what you know you would expect when you think it's an eyeshadow so I have to say that it is pretty odd like I have to admit that they're a little bit odd to work with because you're so used to powders or pigment pigments um, but I have to say, if you like wet eyeshadow, like if you do the wet to the dry to wet eyeshadows, it's kind of reminiscent of that because it feels a little bit wet going on like that. Um, but I have to say, the consistency and the feel of it is different. Now, one of the things that a lot of people were saying from the reviews that I watched was that they had a whole lot of creasing and a whole lot of, you know, um, glitter everywhere, okay? So when I tried them out, I decided, okay, let me go ahead and try to combat the problem that I hear everybody saying when I try them out because I really want them to work. Honestly, I'm just going to be for real. I really want them to work because they are so beautiful, okay? So what I did in applying mine is I used two coats of primer. So I put my eyeshadow primer on, let it set, and then put another coat of eyeshadow primer on. I also really went heavy in my crease with my transition color and I made sure to use a matte blush. So not another shimmer or anything like that. So I used the matte blush and went in very, very strong with my transition color because I wanted to be able to try to combat the, you know, residue on the top. As you can see, my eyes are hooded I have hooded eyes and so naturally just in any kind of eyeshadow or any kind of eye look I do get the transition that's just a thing because of the shape of my eyes so I wanted to kind of combat that by kind of like layering and over layering a little bit to try to help it not transfer so much at first I did try to use the applicator and what I found was that using the applicator kind of made it clump like make the the glitter portion kind of clump on my eyelid and I didn't like that because you want the shine to go across the eyelid so I decided to use my fingers so I just took you know took a little bit on my fingers and I patted it and then what I did was I kind of did it in layers I would put a layer on and then go ahead and you know buff my face do some blush do some other things and come back and put another layer on and um, to try to kind of let it set so it wouldn't be like wet like when I open my eyes to full capacity so I think that doing it like that it took a little longer maybe than your normal eyeshadow application but I feel like 
I got a better result from doing it that way. I'm not saying that I'm a makeup artist and that I know everything and that, you know, I'm the bomb.com.org.edu.gov. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I felt like I got a better application from watching what everybody else was saying was wrong with the product. So for me, I think it applied nicely. Now, I would have to say that it did not crease on me for about four hours. And what I just did was got my transition color, got my eyeshadow palette out and just kind of swept it over again. And it just helped it to stop that glitter from going berserko on my face, okay? So for me, I would have to say, you know, most of the day or majority of the day with no creasing was pretty good for me. And I would be satisfied with that. Um, I probably would not wear these like every single day or like make these my normal eye routine. You know, I just think it would be fun to wear for like a party or like, you know, a get together or a gathering, an evening date with the bae, you know, something like that. So where four or five or six hours would be would suffice, you know, as far as non-creasing. And I think they're overall beautiful and I think they're elegant and they're different. So I would have to say, you know, I'm not going to like totally toss these out the window. I think that if you are patient and you kind of want to work with them, that they will work fine. Um, but if you're like, you know, I don't want to fool with that or whatever, you know, that's your prerogative or whatever. But I think that they are workable. I think that if you find how to apply it for yourself, it can work. Milani has also released what they're calling the Fierce Foil Eyeliner. If you saw my showcase last year of the Bedazzle collection, that limited edition collection, um, and it was like really iridescent and just like sparkly and everything. The thing that I found with and a lot of people found with those is that those liners, once you kind of use all the glitter off the top, it was like a top layer of glitter. Um, once that was gone, it was just black underneath. The thing that I've noticed that they changed about this is that it has the fierce oil, the shimmer all the way through so it's not just shimmery on top and then as you go down it just turns black it's like shimmery and colorful all the way through so I think that's pretty good um, these are really really smooth and actually you know I think that you could use them not only as eyeliners but also like for eyeshadow looks like we want to do smoky eye and it will just give you just the right amount of shine with it it's not like bam in your face it's not like the foil eye shines it's much more subtle um, but I feel like it kind of gives you just that little bit of like sparkly girliness. And last but not least, they released um, some new pencils, some new eyeliner pencils, number 12 in the color Bordeaux and number 13 in the color Pretty Pink, okay? So these are really, really nice. And if you know, Milani has really nice pencils. Um, they are easy to apply. You don't have to work hard to get the color pay off. Um, so these are really, really nice for aligning your lips and your eyes if you want to, you know. So they're really, really pretty, really, really pigmented colors. Um, as you saw when I was putting on the lipstick, I did use them a couple of times to line my lips and kind of, you know, deepen up some of those colors. They also released the Supreme Cold Kajal Eyeliner. Okay, and so the cold pencil is like all the rage right now too. Again, just like the other ones, the, the pencils are just so soft. Like you do not need to apply a lot of pressure at all. And the black is really, really black. So if you want to, you know, really have control when you're doing a winged eyeliner or just your eyeliner, you want a tight line, these are really, really nice because you don't have to press hard. You don't have to work really hard. And the cool thing about it is they smudge if you need them to smudge. You know, before they set, they can smudge really nicely, but when they set, they're set. So I really like that. I think these are really cool. So there you have it, folks. My showcase and first impressions of some of this awesome spring 2015 Milani releases. Thank you guys so much for sticking out with me and hearing what my thoughts are on these items. So please, please, please leave below in the description box your favorite lipstick. Are you going to try some eyeliners? What do you think about the eye shines? I mean, give me your real, give me your real opinion because you know I want to know what you think about it, okay? Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed this and thumbs up for more makeup videos. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media, especially Instagram because I'm always on Instagram, okay? It's like an addiction. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content and you don't want to miss anything, okay? Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Perfect purple. The perfect purple, yes. Even though they're matte, they are super pigmented and only wearing them for like two seconds and it stains my mouth. So you know that's good quality. Y'all see how this scrubbing I'm doing? Ooh, child.